Hey lady and gents, welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, please subscribe. And all my returning subscribers, thank you for being loyal and enjoy this video. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Tell me what you think. And if you would like more videos like this one, let me know. So these are all the things that you'll need. Um, some wax paper, the dye of your twists, some IF50 developer, some powder, deep conditioner, water, thing uh, to mix the um, the bleach in, um, a little bottle. I chose a bottle. Usually people just um, brush it on. And then, of course, your weave. And then you need a plastic bag, two pairs of gloves. Um, of course, put the wax paper at the bottom. I'm using the wax paper because I ran out of aluminum foil, so we're going to see if it works the same. Um, that's about it. Make sure you get the bag at the bottom. The bag at the bottom. And don't forget your hair. And let's get started, guys. Now, this will be a voiceover. I would try to be um, detailed as possible. It's really an easy process. So just follow along. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. And I will answer them. So let's get started, guys. So now I'm just going to take the... Um, bottle that I was mentioning and the bleach and the powder and put it in the bottle now this was my first time doing this technique and it was hard I would suggest to you guys to just do it the old-fashioned way and just put it in a bowl and take a um what is that it's a fucking what the fuck is that brush called the brush that you brush like your dye and shit we weave. Take that brush and mix it around in a mixing bowl and do it that way. So now after I've done been through the struggle putting all that stuff in this little ass bottle, I'm gonna squeeze it on the hair. They see me struggling, they hating. Patrolling, they trying to catch me riding dirty. Okay, yeah, so eventually I get it open. I'm squeezing it out. La, 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 la. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Still having a hard time, but I'm squeezing though. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Um, Now, I'm just going for a, like, kind of blonde. On the blonde, blonde side, because I'm dyeing my hair. Like a red, kind of pinkish. You'll see it in my video. My um, how to make a wig with a 360 lace frontal video. And you'll see how I made that. And you'll see like the finishing results of the color on that video. So go check that out. Now I am having technical. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not having technical difficulties. I'm having difficulties with this damn bottle. Oh my goodness. It's so frustrating. Okay, so a really quick tip. Now, I am dyeing a 360 frontal. And usually when you're doing a frontal, you're only supposed to... I mean, usually when you're doing a frontal, I'm sorry. People usually dye the lace of the frontal. Now, I'm going to have a hard time just dyeing the lace of the frontal because I'm trying to achieve a whole color head look. So when you guys are doing this, if you are doing it with a 360 lace frontal, make sure you don't put too much bleach on your lace. Because you don't want your lace to be too, 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 too tinted. Please do not forget that. Do not forget to put a lot of bleach. I mean, I'm sorry. Remember to not put a lot of bleach on your lace. Just put just enough and make sure you check on it from time to time while your other bundles are coloring because you don't want your um you don't want your lace frontal to be too bleached. You know, it's going to be damaged and it won't look good on the scalp. 
So yeah, that's just a quick, 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 quick reminder. Please, if you're doing a lace frontal, a lace closure, or a 360 lace frontal, and if you're planning on bleaching the whole thing as like a whole customized color, remember to put less bleach on the knots. You see here, you're just going to rub it in. Make sure you get it like all throughout the bundle so you flip it over as you see me doing that. Get it in the middle. Get it in really good. Like, you have to get it in really good. And then you have to be quick because you got to, like, make sure they're all, um, all the same color. You don't want to wait because they will turn. So you have to go as fast as you can. Not as fast as you can, but you got to just get it all on there at the same time. So you see me kind of rushing through it, but I'm trying to get it. Every little piece that I can at the same time. Okay, so I'm done this process and now I'm just wrapping everything up. Well, I already wrapped everything up. So when you're done, you just want to take your aluminum foil and you want to compress it on top so it keeps all the heat in. Do not forget that part. And you're going to let it sit for about 30 to 40 minutes depending on how long you want your... um color to sit for and it depends on what kind of bleach achievement are you going for so if you are going for like a bright blonde let it sit for 40 minutes or 45 minutes to an hour and i always get this brand forget my ogx i can't really see that brand it's the brand that everyone uses for like the brazilian weave and their weave i'm using the tree mint conditioner and the tree mint shampoo line this is really good make sure when you're um this is for not even just bleaching just period when you're using your brazilian hair or whatever make sure you're using sulfate free because it's very important then i'm going to be using my favorite if you don't have this you need to get it my aussie three minute miracle strong it's amazing okay it is amazing guys buy it go buy it it makes my hair feel like Freaking butter. Okay. So, enough of the shenanigans. Um, here I was, just, I was just saying that the wax paper didn't work out. And I do not recommend you guys using it. Please use aluminum foil. I will not use this method again. I was only using it because I wanted to try something new. So, now, just put your bundles inside of the sink or the bathtub, whatever you're using. Um, just put it in the sink, drop it in, okay. So you're going to put it in the sink. I'm pretty sure you guys know what to do after this. So I'm going to fast forward. You want to use lukewarm water. You don't want to use hot, hot water or you don't want to use cold, cold water. So use lukewarm water. When you get to your frontal, make sure you're washing it really, really good. Get in there. Get the bleach out. Double wash it. You need to get that shit out, sis. You need to really get it out. Like, you see I'm going hard. You need to really get it out, bro. Still going harder than the paint on this damn lace frontal. I'm telling y'all, it really matters. Like, you really need to get it out. So now I'm just putting my um, conditioner on. I'm putting it all in there, getting it all in there. And I let my conditioner sit for about five minutes. And while I let it sit, I brush through it and, you know, make sure everything's tangle free and shit like that. I'm going to show you guys to finish the product, but you know what I mean. This is the final step of bleaching, whatever you want to call it, dyeing your weave. It's pretty simple, but tedious at the same time. And it gets messy. So, while you're waiting for it to um, 
bleach or whatever, like that 45 minutes or that 30, 35 minutes I told you about in the beginning. Take some time to clean up. I'm telling you guys, it will be like a much easier process in the end. You won't have as much stuff to do. Because remember, you have to still blow dry. And I mean, I would prefer you air dry your hair. But, you know, I'm going to blow dry because I'm making a wig the same night. Don't forget to check out that video as well. I'll link that below. But thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope you guys come back for more. If you guys want me to do... Um, any DIYs or you want me to try out something or go buy something and review it for you guys before you review it, just let me know. I'm open to anything. See you next time, guys. Yes, this, this is the finishing product. If you want me to make a video and a tutorial on how I, how I achieve this color, please comment below. And let me know.